One former lawmaker appealing to the state Supreme Court. He's claiming he couldn't access the signatures, which he now has. News 4's Nick Camper has the latest. Nick? Yeah, former state lawmaker Mike Reynolds says the new way of verifying petitions does not make sense. He has filed a challenge to state question H20 because of it, but supporters of H20 say his legal arguments don't hold weight. Who was brain dead in the legislature when they passed that, uh, that statute? Reynolds says that he filed the petition to challenge state question 820 because he wanted to see the signatures. I was supposed to contest the signatures and I can't even see them. He claims that challenging the petition was the only way to see them because of House Bill 3826. The bill is from 2020 and reading from it, it says, upon appeal and if ordered or directed by the Supreme Court, the Secretary of State shall deliver the bound volumes of signatures to the Supreme Court. Speaker of the House Charles McCall authored the bill and says it did not restrict any public access to signatures or change petition verification timelines, as inaccurately alleged. Reynolds admitted that he filed an open records request last week asking for signatures. But because he didn't hear back and after reading House Bill 3826, he filed a petition on Wednesday to challenge the state question. He says on Thursday, he picked up a flash drive from the Supreme Court with the information he was looking for. State question 820 has been debated all summer. It received enough signatures to be on the ballot in November, but it has not met the state election board's deadlines, an issue that has left the petition at the steps of the Supreme Court. Campaign director for 820, Michelle Tilley, is confident in the signatures they collected. She expects the Supreme Court to view the challenge as frivolous, saying in a statement, this protest is a shot in the dark protest, very possibly just another delay tactic, hoping to slow things down. The September 23rd printing deadline for the ballots is looming, giving supporters of state question 820 just two weeks to learn their fate.